you may be seated this morning. Uh, I, I just want to continue to uh, build a little bit this morning. You know, February is always about relationship. And I want us to begin to see some areas as we, if you got your top notes, everybody got top notes when you come in this morning. So let's begin to build here this morning. And if you would, let's go over to uh, Matthew chapter 18 and verse 20. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 20. And we're going to begin to talk about together. Say that with me. Together. Say it again. Together. You know, one thing that I've realized and I've understood more than ever, that we as a body of believers have to be together. Have to be together. In Matthew 18, 20 says, For where two or three gathered together and as my followers, I am there among them. I'm not reading in the uh, New Living Testament. And I want you to see again that again, you are followers of Christ. That means that as a follower, you pursue Him. Are you out here this morning? Yeah. It's your responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, to pursue Him. Wherever you go, whether you relocate, whatever's going on in your life, it is your responsibility to pursue Him. And what the local church is about is to help you pursue Him in greater measure. And you'll notice that when God begins to move and God begins to flow, then He always brings people together. Have you notice that when God moves? He brings people together. You notice that? There's always a movement. There's always a flow of people coming when there's a move of God. Why? Because God is in the business of people business. He's always bringing others together. And He's always transforming hearts. And I want us to see this this morning, that it's very important that you build relationships. And you know, I just want to, I sense this this morning. Now we know we have family around our lives. Alright? Family can be a good thing and family can be a bad thing. How many understand what I'm talking about? Okay? Family is a good thing. But if family is not balanced and family is broken, then what happens is we tend to have brokenness in our life. Are you out here this morning? But what we need to understand that listen, wherever you're at, whatever's going on, you need to have spiritual people around your life to help you to be accountable so that you can move greater in what God wants. Because remember, the success that you walk in, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the believers that you have around your life. Because have you ever found out that people that sometimes profess to be one thing, that you get around them and they're not really anything at all that they say? It's important that we realize that we have a responsibility. It's important that we build, we build biblical relationships. Because remember, right people gather for the right reason. And we have to see that when we gather for the right reason, God shows up and good things begin to happen. Are you out here this morning? And we've got to begin to understand this. You know, we couldn't do what we're doing in this church if it wouldn't be for people. God's moving on people, and as God moves on people, we're going to advance forward, and we're going to change cultures, we're going to change religion. You say, what do you mean you're going to change religion? Because many of us were taught religious things that were contrary to the Word of God. And we're going to begin to embrace these areas of what God teaches, and we're going to grow together, together. I want you to get this in your heart and your mind. You're not a lone ranger. God doesn't create lone rangers. He creates togetherness. There's a safety net in togetherness. God wants you in His family. There's a good togetherness. Are you out here this morning? You know, when you're going through something, somebody's already been through it. When you're having a financial problem, somebody's already been there. 
Somebody's going through it. They've already gone through it. And they're celebrating the victory. Are you out here this morning? I want you to understand the enemy wants you to be that lone ranger. But God's speaking to us that we have to come together. We have to fellowship. We have to build relationship. And what we do a lot of times is we build relationship with our intimate blood family. But then we need to understand that there comes a time that you need to break away a little bit and build some spiritual connections that build some lifelong moments in your life. And this is what the culture of the church here at Faith Church is. Is we're instilling the Word of God so that when you leave here, it will be in your life. It will be a part of your life. And when you build other relationships outside of these four walls, then you'll have an impartation to give to them and to bring transformation. Because remember, we're just not here to take up oxygen. We're here to do the will of God on this earth. Are you out of this morning? Yes, sir. See, believing in all of you, God's believing in every one of us. But the best place that you can be, ladies and gentlemen, is in a body of believers. Yes. And you know, the hardest thing that we do is, because of our brokenness, because of where we come from, some of us, when we step into the place what we call church, some of us are very apprehensive of what we get involved in. Because we carry something that was broken in the past. It's, it, it surely won't last. Surely something will be broken, I know. I'm not saying we're perfect in the body of Christ. What I'm saying is that, you know what? God takes broken people and He begins to bring healing in our life. And He brings us together. Listen, you need to tell your neighbor, I need you. Come on, tell them right now. Come on, help me out. Let's do it. Tell your other neighbor, I need you. You need one another. I said you need one another. Amen. See, again, you got to understand that when God believes in you, He's believing that there's going to be greater things going to happen this year for you. Amen. That's right. Greater things are going to happen for you. You say, well, Pastor, but there's some tests. Well, good. Turn the test into a testimony. Amen. Okay? Greater things ahead. Every time that you go to a new level, there's going to be some kickback. Or I should say, there's going to be some pushback. It's going to push you back and say, why in the world are you here? Why in the world did you come? Why in the world did you come get this job? Why in the world did you come to Cushing? There's nothing going to come good out of Cushing. Well, I'm going to tell you something. There's something good coming out of Cushing, and His name is Jesus. That's what's coming out of Cushing. And Jesus is raising up a generation of people together, a movement that's happening. And as we come together, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing going to stop us. And He's going to separate the men from the boys. He's going to separate the ladies from the girls. He's going to separate. You say, man, I want them all to come. But I want you to know something. Not everyone's going to go. And you've got to begin to get around those that have a passion. You've got to get around those that have a, a fire on the inside. And you've got to get around those that have a desire for the will of God. Because if you don't get around those, you're not going to see the possibilities that God's going to do in the future. Good things are going to happen this year in Jesus' name. Amen. And we've just begun as we have been born. And see, there's going to be possibility of stronger marriages. I don't know about you, but I want a stronger marriage. Amen. There's going to be possibilities of healings in relationships. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But that's where it comes that we've got to be together. We've got to make sure that we're together. Because remember, in your talk notes it says, you'll never do all that God wants you to do without the right people around you. How many understand that friends will tell you the truth even when you don't like the truth? Yeah. Yeah. Now isn't it funny that we always want to be around people that don't tell us the truth because we don't have to worry about them saying anything. But there comes a time in our life, ladies and gentlemen, we need to be around people that believe in one another. We need to be around people because I found this out, that we live in a negative world. And that negative world tries to influence every boy, girl, mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. But I want to tell you something. Together, we can do all things, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. We can do all things. 
when someone speaks negative, you know, I mean, you know, the world sometimes is just crazy. I mean, they're, they're just bent the wrong way. And our job is to help them find the right way. Are you out there this morning? See, we've got to understand that, you know, if we don't surround ourselves with the right people, we're missing ingredients that's going to help us. I mean, it was me. I, I mean, watching some of the men working yesterday. I mean, we had a good time. I mean, they had a good time working and laboring, and the men did, you know? So, so those that are laboring, you need to make some adjustments, and you need to plan your family time at home throughout the week, and you need to come if all you do is hand a pencil to somebody and say, I'm here just to hand you the pencil. Good. We'll receive you, and you'll get blessed by being part of handing that pencil. Amen. Are you seeing what I'm talking about? Is we've got to change the way we think. We've got to change what we do. We've got to do different. We've got to realize that we need everybody together. Amen. Together this builds strength. Together this builds a move of God that flows, that moves into our lives, and moves into our homes, and it brings stability, and it brings impartation, and it brings transformation. That's what it does for us when we come together. Because God is waiting for us to come together and to express love, and to express our friendship, and to grow together, and to begin to share with one another what's going on, and what God has done, and what God's going to do, and where we're going to go, and how we're going to get there, and what's going to happen when we go. Are you out here this morning? See, we've got to understand this. You'll never do everything that you're called to do without people around you that are spiritual. You'll never make it. You'll never make it. Wherever you're at, God loves you. But again, God's not here creating lone rangers. Amen? Amen. God's not here. You know, the devil's trying to create bad company. I tell you, the devil's working overtime right now to make sure you stay disconnected from the local church. Amen. The devil's working overtime on your flesh. He's saying you don't need it. He's saying it's better to stay at home and get some rest. I'm telling you, I'm prophesying some of you. But I'm telling you that what you've got to realize is that we need the right people around our lives. We need the right people around our lives. Without the right people, you'll never do what God's called you to do. Without the right leaders imparting to you, you won't do. Listen, I've got some family. You know, my, my, my dad is a good man. He showed me how to work hard. But one thing that he didn't know how to do is he didn't know how to lead me spiritually. I had to learn it on my own. I had to seek God. I had to desire Him more than my fleshly birth father. And I continued and sought after that. I continued to move towards that, that spiritual father. Because listen, my spiritual father's never let me down. Amen. Amen. He's always been there. He's been there when I've been angry. Yes. No, you don't understand. He's been there when I've been angry. He's been there when I've been angry and I've been in the prayer time and I said, God, where are you at? And my wife said, oh Lord, have mercy on him. Don't strike him dead. I'm talking about being angry. I'm talking about a real emotion that will guide you and lead you and destroy you. But I'm telling you that God knows how to deal with us wherever we're at and what's going on in our life. But what we've got to realize is if we're not surrounded with those biblical people around our life, then we'll become dysfunctional as we were brought up and we'll never press through anything and we'll end up broken just like the rest of the world. You've got to push through it, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to push through it. 